Hi everyone! Welcome to The Candid Clementine. Today in this video, I'm going to be telling you about seven reasons why Sorrento, Italy is an absolutely magical place. So whether you simply have wanderlust or you're planning your dream vacation, today I'm here to get you excited about why you should travel to Sorrento, Italy. So let's get started. Number one, the views are everywhere. Every morning I would wake up and I could look across the Gulf of Naples and see Mount Vesuvius, which if you really thought about it was kind of terrifying, but it was, it was all good. In addition, Sorrento has some lovely hikes that go right along the coastline as well. So if you're into scenic routes, definitely check out the way to Regina Giovanna. It's a lovely lagoon and has some of the bluest water that I've ever seen in my life. Number two, the citrus. Sorrento is really known for their citrus. Orange trees line the streets everywhere you go. And one of the coolest things to me was that if you got hungry, you could just reach up and grab an orange for a snack. In addition, lemons are very famous here. So definitely check out some of the awesome shops that have lemon decor and lemon candies and lots and lots of lemoncello. People are very proud of their lemoncello and a lot of the shops that you go into will offer you free samples. Number three, the holiday lights. If you visit Sorrento in the winter, you are gonna be blown away. Every building, every orange tree, every alleyway is just covered in lights and it feels like you're in a fairy tale. Like the entire city twinkles at night and they even put up this massive Christmas tree in the center of town that lights up and sings at night. How cool is that? <laughs> Number four, the cafe culture. This was probably one of the biggest highlights of going to Italy. Every morning I would wake up and walk to a new cafe in town and I would go and try to get to as many as possible so I could rank them and pick out my favorites. The best ones were Sorrentum and Cafe Rita. If you have the opportunity to stop by either of these two, definitely try their chocolate croissant and a sfogliatella. Sfogliatella is basically a crunchy layered pastry that is filled with ricotta and uh, bits of citrus candies and it, it was absolutely delicious. I loved it. Number five, the location. Sorrento, in my opinion, is the ideal location for a relaxed vacation in Italy. There's lots of stuff to do in Sorrento itself, but if you do want to branch out, it's really easy to access other, more touristy cities along the coast. For example, for just 10 euros, you can get a bus pass that will go to other cities like Positano and Amalfi. There's also a train that you can get a trip to Naples or Pompeii for just 3 euros which, in my opinion, is a really good deal. Lastly, there's a ferry that can take you all the way to the island of Capri, and I think the trip for that is just about 20 minutes, so also a very awesome opportunity from there. Number six, living life in the slow lane. In the US, I feel like maximizing productivity is sort of ingrained into our culture, but Sorrento really helped me realize that relaxing can be a really good thing. And whether it was just walking into town with my friends or just going out and sitting by the sea for an hour and watching the waves roll in, it was really nice to experience just being able to sit and be present. I feel like people in Sorrento really are good at relishing in every moment and I really admire that about them. And after this trip, I'm really striving to get more of that in my life back in the US. Last but not least, number seven is the people. The people in Sorrento are amazing and they made me feel like I had been part of the community my entire life. They're so kind and really patient with non-Italian speakers. While I was in Sorrento, I took Italian 101, so I picked up a little bit of vocabulary and tried my best to use it um, 
but they would often just like smile at me even as I was struggling uh, rather than getting like frustrated or confused. Um, and many people in Sorrento do know English, which is really helpful for tourists. Um, but I would recommend trying your best to just uh, get by a little bit in Italian. One, because uh, learning a language is fun, and also because it is a sign of respect for where you're traveling to, um, and also helps you feel more embedded in the culture and form deeper relationships with the people in town. In conclusion, Sorrento is absolutely amazing, and I highly recommend a trip to this beautiful little town. If you were on the fence before about whether or not you should visit, I hope this video has convinced you that it would be an absolutely amazing idea to take a trip. I promise you, you won't regret it. That's all I have for this video today, but I thank you so much for watching, and um, Keep an eye out for future travel videos. Ciao for now.